So you just got your new Logitech mouse and you want to change your DPI settings or mess around with any macros. You want to save them onto your mouse so you don't have to always have the app open. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, you need the Logitech G Hub application downloaded. I'm going to leave that in the, uh, in the link for you in the description. So what you want to do, you want to click onto it. As you can see, my mouse here, the G305, this is the recent mouse that I've just picked up. If you want to click on your mouse, uh, now I've already saved it onto my onboard memory, but I'm just going to turn that off for you guys so I can show how to do it. So when you normally click on it, you'll get brought to this menu. And there you can mess around with your DPI speeds and whichever one you want. Uh, it's personal preference really, um, whatever suits you. And make sure you pull it onto high performance as well so you can unlock, you know, if you want a thousand, um, you want a... Um, if you want that true response time of one millisecond uh, of this on your report rate, I've got set, set mine to 500 though. You can look at videos online, there's plenty of them where people explain uh, what the best polling rate is for you know for what sort of game you are. Um, but I normally stick to 500. Um, so here you can uh, see your different DPI speeds. So as you can see, I've got 900, 1300, 1900, and 2500. So when I click my DPI button, it should be somewhere in the center of your mouse, just below the scroll uh, scroll wheel. Usually, if you click on it, you see how mine is now flashing orange on my mouse, and it's gone to the orange side. So that's showing which DPI I'm now choosing, and so on and so forth. So I normally stick it on the white one; it's the main one for you know browsing. I mean, I normally use orange or pink when I'm gaming. And 900 is for games that have really bad mouse configurations like Star Wars Republic Commando, where the game is absolutely terrible at uh, reading the mouse and it just goes all over the place. So once you've managed to do that, you want to now save your settings instead of having to keep this program open or you don't have to keep on turning it on every time when you launch uh, you know, Windows. You can have that open if you'd like. It should be somewhere in the settings where you can have it as a default option but for me i don't really want this open in the background um just it's i just don't need it open so what you want to do you want to go to the little settings icon up here just click on onboard memory mode and just turn that on now it will say slot one i've got mine set to default if you click on that you've got all the different profiles here what you can have it to so you see all my games well most of my games on here anyway that it has detected so you can choose different games for what you want for each time but however this is going to be what's going to be saved onto your mouse permanently so i go just keep it on the desktop so i click on that see it loading there you go just like that and now if i back out and i quit onto here I'll also show that it's not in my task manager as well. Scroll down, scroll down. Only it's got the LG Hub update, but that always stays in the background anyway. Uh, I wouldn't stop it from running on the services. I'll just keep it open because it might need an update one day and it might cause some issues if you stop, uh, stop it running. Okay, so after that is done, as you can see, my mouse is moving exactly the same as what I wanted it. Normally when I used to back out, it used to just revert back to its settings, but this is just a way to keep it saved onto your mouse. It just saves all that hassle for loading up. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I really appreciate it. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.